great to sort of revisit schools. I can remember how much I looked up to sports people when I was at school and um, if anyone, if an Olympian had come and spoken to our school it would have just been the highlight of um, the, the day, um, the week or the month or the year um, and you know gives them a good chance to miss out on a little bit of class which no one will complain about. <laughs> well I never did. No, it was, yeah, it's good to give something back as well so. I suppose water polo is not every day you get people coming up and uh, saying hey congratulations and getting photos with you so um, yeah that no, was exciting it was sort of felt like I was back at the, uh, the Brisbane March so. <laughs> Yeah, it was really good today. It was really nice just to chat to school students and they just get so much out of it. You know, they might be struggling with things about, you know, juggling school life and, and training as well. So it's really nice to chat to them and say that, you know, it's all okay in the end so they'll get there. Um, yeah, it was really informative. Um, we learned a lot about how, like, what they train like and what they do. Yeah, um, it was really inspiring like to see how they were training and stuff and like how much hard work goes into it so yeah it like helped us to like work harder now in the future. Yeah today I, I felt that it helped inspire me to move towards that same direction and hopefully do it a bit easier with a bit of knowledge they've given us today. Uh, a group of EUs uh, outside our apartments and um, they towards the, the end of the competition when more and more athletes have finished competing Plastic emus that they weren't real. Um, they um, became nocturnal emus and would turn up in all sorts of weird places. You know, the, the, the emus learnt to swim, they got come to the pond, um, they'd turn up in people's apartment, or you'd, or you'd walk into the lift and there'd be like emus standing right in your face. <laughs>